Since you have been in the industry for so long, uh, Linux has also, I think, 27 years. Linux has been around for 27 years, something, something like that. that yeah. yeah, even more than that. Uh, now, uh, I think Linux set the stage for every all the other open source projects to like Kubernetes or whatever. They come, they get up, doctor. One thing that I have noticed and I wanted to ask you was that Linux took a lot of time, you know, to succeed, you know, to get. Uh, but when you think about Kubernetes or OpenStack, they get adopted, and embraced very quickly. Is it because of the Linux success, or is it because these projects are designed to kind of become part of the commercial world, you know, from the day one? It may be some of both, but it, it just took the world a long time to come around to the idea of, of open mm -hmm. software development. You know, the, the X Consortium, the MIT X Consortium, kind of blazed that trail in a lot of ways. It was out there doing what we would now recognize as open source before right. Linux was ever mm -hmm. released. Linux, I think, really brought attention to the idea that this can work and that it can produce top quality software. And so, you know, nobody questions that idea anymore. Whereas back in, I mean, certainly back in say 1983, when Richard Stallman said, I'm going to create a free operating system, most of us just said, uh, that's a great idea. I'd love to have that, but you'll never get there. Right. You can't do that. But now nobody questions that you can do this. And so there's, there's a whole set of, of barriers that don't need to be overcome now. Mm -hmm. We have a whole lot of structure around it for, for doing distributed development that we didn't have back in those days. And we didn't really, I mean, the rise of Linux corresponds to a great extent with the rise of the internet, mm -hmm. right? Without the internet, it was much harder to do this. And so now we have tools like Git and, and a whole lot of other things. We have a whole set of procedures. So it's, it's, it's natural that a free software project would, would come up much more quickly now if it's yeah. going to be successful. Right. But we have also seen that a lot of community-driven projects, they are still struggling, you know, whereas, the, uh, I mean, I don't want to name anyone, but uh, at the same time, you see commercialized projects which are heavily successful. So I think that also plays some role. That if there, as sustainability is very important, you know. The, I think that plays a role, and I think we certainly see examples of companies seeing free software open source is a way that they can maybe try to offload some of the development and maintenance work of their software. Mm -hmm. And so they, they try to, to establish a project that looks like a free software project, but is still very much still under their control. Right. Okay. And you know, that works is still free software, but I think it's not the only way to make a successful right. project. I, and certainly in a number of Commercial free software projects also languish. Mm -hmm. You need to have something more than just commercial support. Yeah, that's right.